Hey everybody, Sebastian Maniak here for part two on really the art of what's possible when automating uh, or automating Palo Alto firewall changes using native service now uh, technology like Flow Designer. And in this section, I'm just gonna show you how you can quickly build policies that are sent to a Panorama device so they can be applied to your PanOS. So if we take a look at our lab environment, similar to the first video I did, we have a Panorama device here. Uh, we have a PanOS device here with a, sub, a couple zones and address groups deployed. What we're gonna have is our ServiceNow is gonna have the service catalog and ServiceNow is going to really communicate to this mid server. And this mid server is going to make all these API calls to the device based on what's in our catalog. So if we have really our users, they're gonna put in a request or a catalog item into ServiceNow that are gonna define all the details in it. Once they order this, this catalog, it's gonna to go to some type of approval or rejection or a team or, or an individual that has to approve it. And if it's approved, what we're gonna see is our uh, ServiceNow mid server is going to initiate the flow that we've designed. Um, and that API is gonna, or that REST API call is gonna be sent to the Panorama to deploy what was defined in the service catalog. And in this service catalog, what we're defining is really the policies we want to build. So let's kind of take a, a quick example on how this looks like. So if we go into our service catalog, so I have one already where we build the rules, uh, pretty straightforward. I really just took it the same thing that we have if we go to our panorama and we can make it easier that when we click on our panorama and we want to create pre or post rules, we click on the add button and we go through all our options uh, to build this security policy as the you know general source destination application categories actions and targets itself so if we take a look at our item we can build the policy so let's do service now demo a little bigger uh, we can specify which device group so i have maniac hq is just a palo alto device and we can select the source addresses. So just for this demo, I'm gonna put any, any. We can specify IP addresses if we are on here. Uh, destination addresses, same thing. Let's just put any just so from a quick demo perspective. Uh, application, we can select web browsing. I've already put in here, or we can type whatever application is defined. Uh, what URL services. So in this case, I'm just you know putting in a service HTTPS. This could be a drop down. This could be pulled from the Palo Alto device. So you have a category list already inside of ServiceNow. Uh, the specific actions. Um, so right now we're going to set to allow. And what is the target device uh, that we're going to connect? So once we fill in all this, you know, information to build this policy, we're going to click on the order button. And once this is ordered, if we take a look at our flow designer. So we'll take a look at the flow in a second. Um, I'm gonna click on this request and I'm gonna show the flow, the rhythm actually right here gets created. I'm gonna click on this rhythm. It's gonna have all the information that was filled into, into that ticket. And in this instance, I have an approver in my demo lab and the approver has to approve this request. So they'll look at this, the changes that need to be made. And right now, if we look, right, nothing on the Panorama device. So the user is gonna look at all the options that are being deployed. Once they approve this change, then ServiceNow Flow Designer automatically kicks in and sends in that configuration. So now if we look back on our Panorama, we have exactly what we built. We have our pre-built policy right here with really all the information um, that we've kind of deployed. 
uh, inside of ServiceNow. And really what this helps us do is build a, a nice way of providing our users or our engineers a clean way of automating some of the requests um, that we have. And if we take a look at how this is done, it's using Flow Designer. And inside Flow Designer, we're building that catalog item request. We're getting all the variables of all the items we want. We're creating a change task. We're asking for approval. And then we're applying this policy to the actual uh, Panorama device, um, as you can see with all the content and all the data in here. And all this is done is through Flow Designer. And if we go to our policies, we can see all our policies are just making a REST API call to my Panorama device, to the specific policy, and providing the data that is required in the body. So once again, really, this is just a, a quick way or a simple way to be able to utilize ServiceNow Flow Designer and automate uh, Palo Alto policies um, with the entire notion of having that whole change management approval process. Anyways, thank you very much. Um, more to come and uh, please subscribe and follow.